Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Joy and I'm Tom and uh, it has been long. I just want to say sorry for my followers. It has been long since I did uh, a YouTube video but now we are back and we are back with uh, very in interesting videos. So what are we going to talk about? Many people asked us uh, um, on subject uh, how we met. So we decided to tell you how we met and uh, we thought we could have a, we could have a little talk about it and yeah, uh, you also would know. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to start? Yes, yeah. yeah, so we met in Kenya, I think three years ago, three years ago. So we met in Kenya, we met in a supermarket I used to work as a cashier and Tom was a customer, right? That's right. So, do you want to tell the story after that? What happened? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I was I was a customer in a in a supermarket. It was in town of by by Lake Victoria, uh, and I was in a queue. Uh, Joy was a cashier, yeah. and uh, there was a guy in front of me uh, in a queue, and he didn't have enough money. So I decided to help him out. I decided to partially pay for his shopping. That was so kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I decided to pay for him, but I'm, I didn't have any cash on me because I in, in Kenya I used only M-Pesa. Yeah, was for those people who don't know what M-Pesa is, M-Pesa is just uh, one of the um, one of the means of payment in Kenya. And so many, so many people use it in Kenya. So M-Pesa means of payment in Kenya. Yes. So M-Pesa is uh, basically you can pay with your, you have money yeah, stored yeah. on your SIM card and you can yeah. pay with your mobile. Yeah, with your mobile. Yeah. So it's like a credit card almost yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't have any cash because I always pay M-Pesa. Um, so, um, and, and, and th at that time, um, our, your system was down. The system in the supermarket, M-Pesa, didn't work. So uh, I suggested to Joy, or did you suggest or I suggested? You suggested. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suggested to Joy that I'm going to send her money to her mobile. So I remember paying uh, from my phone uh, to her phone. Yeah. So Joy can pay later. Yeah. So you, I gave you my number and you paid through. You sent the money through my number. I you the money. So uh, by that time, I did not have my phone with me because it was a rule when you are working as a cashier, you are not supposed to be with your phone around. So my phone was uh, at customer care with my best friend. So when I checked the the money that Tom sent, it was a lot. So I was like, wow, today is my day. <laughs> Baby shark. So I paid for the shopping and I left the supermarket. So in my mind, the matter has been closed and I went home. So after Tom had paid the money and sent the money to my M-Pesa, then I didn't check immediately. But when I was done with my shift, uh, I went and took my phone. So when I took my phone, I found a lot of money. <laughs> I found a lot of money and I was like, wow, this is so much, too much, like, I wasn't sure, but I was sure that uh, you knew sending a lot of money to me. You just wanted me for I my send... good work. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> for what my, sure. Yeah, for my good work. So after that, I had to confirm because, you know, it was a lot of money. And uh, at the back of my mind, I was also thinking that maybe he wanted to send this, then he, he dialed two, two zeros, you know. So it was a lot of money. So... Uh, as far as I remember, what happened is that the shopping I paid for myself and the person in front of me, uh, the total amount was 2850 which is about $28. But what I have done is that I paid 28500 which is $280. 
because I edit one zero by mistake, but I haven't noticed. First of all, I thought maybe he just wanted to help me. He's a gentleman. He just wanted to give me uh, give me some money for my good work and my hard working, you know. So then another, uh, I was also thinking again, like maybe he didn't know that he was sending me this money. So I decided to call him like, hey, it's the cashier at, blah, blah, at uh, Tuski supermarket. I'm just confirming that uh, you sent me a lot of money and uh, the amount that you are supposed to pay is this, but you sent this, you know. So it was, you were so like, Surprise, surprised yeah. surprised like wow i didn't I, I i didn't know about that i received a phone call from joy and joy said hey this is the cashier uh from supermarket you uh, paid uh, money to my mpesa and I, i and then she mentioned and you sent me um over to, uh, you know 25000 more than you were supposed to i was really grateful because i was not aware yeah um and what happened next so after that then uh, uh you didn't have, you, you didn't say much you were like wow i'm so surprised i'm shocked how how like you called me back so you d you did not even tell me to send the money back to you but i decided to send the money back to you yeah so i received the money back and i thought joy was very nice because that is You know, not, you know, first of all, I haven't noticed. Secondly, if I noticed, not many people might be so honest as you are. Yeah, that's true. And I received the money even without, immediately, without asking. So I was really impressed. And I decided to invite Joy for coffee. Yeah. And lunch. Now she's filmed, so she doesn't want to be. Yeah, I don't believe so. She's shy. She's camera shy. Baby, ah, baby shark, shy, i was trying to invite joy for numerously for i was trying to invite you for lunch uh, but all i was getting messages such as i can't today i'm busy um and it went on for i think two weeks yeah so i kept trying and one day i got a message okay i'm free today if you're free we can go for lunch By the way, I'm a shy lady. Am I? You are a little bit, yes. Yeah, but not anymore. Do, am I shy anymore? I think I think you're not any. I think I think you're still a little bit, a little bit shy. With you. A little bit. With you. A little bit. But you know. <laughs> so the reason why I took long is because I was so busy at work, and uh, when I got a chance. That's when I, I texted you, hey, I'm free. Can we now go for a coffee? And, and then I was not free. So I, 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 I had to let you down. And the same time, it was not free. So it was like, oh, I'm busy. I have so many meetings, you know. So I was like, okay, is it a game we are playing or <laughs> trying to be hard or what is going on? I was, I was absolutely genuine. I was trying for two weeks. And then when you texted me, mm -hmm. then I just simply couldn't that evening. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, yeah, so then it got one day we met. We met. I'm making a YouTube video. Thank you. Then, uh, so now when we met, uh, Tom was so funny. Uh, I was? Yeah. Tom was so funny, he was talkative, and I was just like, I was shy. A little, little bit. Only. Yeah, I was shy, a yeah. little bit, but not too much. And uh, we had a lovely lunch. I had fish, I remember, fish and uh, ugali. Mm -hmm. And I had tilapia with, uh, I think, chips. 
Yeah, yeah. chips, and I was like, wow. Yes, and kachumbari. Chips with yeah. tilapia. And we got we got on really well. Well, and we were talking, storing, laughing. Like after you know, after two hours, we were like the best friends. Yeah, we were yeah. friends. Yeah, we were like best friends. So. So now from there we kept on seeing each other as friends and it was nothing uh nothing sexual or yeah, nothing that's true. um mm, like a boyfriend and girlfriend it was re- it was just friends yeah it was just friends we were going to the to the Lake Victoria with the boat ride yes we were on the boat it yeah. was awesome we've seen some hippos yeah uh joy showed me kisumu around Kisumu yeah and also I also took you to the university where I went yeah yeah so it was so lovely and we were just like friends right yes we were just friends and really good friends and we really clicked on yeah and then after that being friends for two weeks my best friend here (laughs) disappeared I had to go to Mombasa because my cousin was flying my cousin was uh, visiting me so i went to mombasa and we went to diana beach yeah so when you went i think you were so busy with your your friend your cousin Mm -hmm. talking so we didn't chat for one week i think so then i was like wow where's my best friend like that guy was so funny but at the same time i started feeling some I had some feelings for him and you never told me yeah i never told you because like you were so funny you were so fun to be with you know like fun to be with so i started feeling some uh, having some feelings i really enjoyed also your company but i never told you so i just wanted to play hard you know hard to get yeah hard to get (laughs) so yeah so what happened after when you were in Diani? So, when I was in Diani Beach, I realized that I'm missing Joy. That I miss Joy. Oh, thank you. I was <laughs> missing you too. <laughs> so, I was texting her. I was... Um, and I was inviting her to Diani Beach. But I had no response. Well, there was one response that she can't make it because it's too far. Yeah. And you work. Yeah. And I just kept texting you and you just were not replying. Yeah. Uh, after a week of texting, I just uh, called Joy and I said, listen, this is your flight. It's flying tomorrow uh, at nine o'clock from Kisumu to Ukunda uh, airport. And I'll be waiting for you in the airport. Wow. Oh, my God. Tomorrow I'm working. This guy has booked a, a ticket for me to fly to Diani. And I don't know what to do. So I had to call my sister. I was panicking because Tom had booked a flight and I tried calling him and he was not receiving my calls. I was trying to call him (laughs) so many times. I knew if I received that phone call, you would tell me cancel the flight. So I just was not answering. So so then I decided to call my sister. So Please. I decided to call my sister and my sister advised me. She told me, uh, if that guy uh, booked for you a ticket, then this guy is very serious. So then I had to lie at job that I'm sick and <laughs> I fly to Diani. Yes. And I, I was waiting for you in the airport. Yeah. And it was so emotional, like seeing him, meeting him. I started shedding some mm, tears. Yeah. Like it was mm. so, it was so It was very emotional. emotional. And first coincidence was that in the supermarket, there was a guy who didn't have enough money. So I had to pay for him and I had to send, uh, I had to pay for him. Second coincidence was that the Empesa system was not working. Yeah, the third one you So sent. I had to send it to your number. Yeah, and you got my number. Yes. Third coincidence was that I send you too much money. Yeah. Because for me that was over. Um, and because I send you that much money, uh, then you called me and you returned the money. Yeah. So, yeah, so that is how we met. And um, 
Yeah, uh, from Diani we started feeling some pa, 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 some feelings <laughs> for in, each other. And, yes. And uh, I had a good time in Diani. We spent there around one week together. Like okay, from Diani we spent around one week together. It was so beautiful, and we fell in love. And here we are. And I really want to appreciate him. Tom is uh, such a great guy, understanding for sure. You Thank are you very much. Understanding and caring. And uh, and this is the product of our love. This is the product of how we met and our love. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, um, make uh, comments. We'll try to reply to everyone. And... Um, have a good time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Annabelle, that is how mommy and daddy met. And that is how we got.